Hello, ma'am. Can I take your order? Oh, yes, thank you. I think I'll have an orange juice, please. And you, sir, what would you like this evening? Oh, yes, I think I'll have a... And also an orange juice. That sounds great. Yes, and what would you like to eat this evening? Oh, I think I will have the chicken with the vegetables. Um, yes, that sounds really good. And you, dear, what will you have? Oh, I think I would like to have, or I think I will have, a steak and some mashed potatoes. Okay, thank you for your order, and I'll bring that right out to you. What you just heard was people ordering in a restaurant. They were using the English grammar form, I will. We use I will or I'll as a contraction to talk about the things we have just decided in the moment. For example, I'll have an orange juice. You decide something in the moment when you order things in restaurants. So we use I will to talk about things we have just decided. And it's related to the future. So I will is related to the future and it's I will, I'll, you will, you'll, he will, he'll, she will, she'll, we, it will, it'll, it'll be a great day tomorrow, we will, will, they will, they'll. Those are the contraction forms for I will. You don't have to use the contractions. Sometimes it sounds better not to use the contractions. But people tend to use the contractions in English in America, for example. Sometimes they don't speak properly all the time. So in America, you might hear people saying, Yeah, it, it'll be a great day tomorrow, instead of it will be a great day tomorrow. Let's look at some examples of how we talk about things we have just decided using will. So we use will for things we have just decided or when we want to an announce our decision, no? Such as a situation in the restaurant. We want to announce to the waiter or to our dining companions what we will have to eat. Let's look at some sentence examples. I'll have a salad. I'll have a salad. So I'm deciding this in the moment about the future. Let's look at another example. Hey, did you phone Lucy? Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> I'll phone her now. So in this sentence, we're announcing what our decision is and that we have just decided to do it in the now future. Let's look at another example. Sometimes we use I will with the verbs think and I don't think. For example, I think I'll go to the cinema today. I don't think you'll have time to go to the cinema today. So in this instance, today represents the future, and you will and I will represent the decision that we made and the announcement of our decision.
It's easy, right? We use and will in different situations. What kind of situations do you think that we use will in? We use will when we are offering to do something. For example, um, I'll help you with your homework. It's an offer. Then we use will when we are agreeing to something. For example, can you give me a ride to school tomorrow? Sure, I'll give you a ride. Then we use will when we are asking somebody to do something. For example, will you please close the window? Right. So I hope this video has helped you learn about the instances when we use will to talk about our decision or announcement that we are going we will do something in the future. For example, for offering to do something, agreeing to do something, or asking someone to do something, we use will. We also use will with I think and I don't think. And we also use will to talk about dis, um, decisions that we made in the moment, like when you go to a restaurant. So the next time you're in a foreign country and you go to a restaurant and you want to order in English, you can say, I'll have, and the waiter will know exactly what you want. I hope this video has helped you with your English. Please feel free to comment on the video and give us feedback, and good luck with your English.